All right, so we're going to install the service pack for HP Pro Alliance uh, Gen 10, the latest Gen 10 version. So we want to go to add the firmware bundle, uh, browse to where we downloaded it to. And give that some time. Some of this will be fast forwarding. It takes me about usually about 45 minutes or so to, to run through the whole bundle of updates. And here we go, it's uploading. And you can go to server profiles now to make sure you have a profile. I have a Gen 10 profile and a Gen 9, which I no longer use. I could probably get rid of that. And you would just create a new one and fill out the Gen 10 information that you need, just like this Gen 10, which server type you have. So, whatever server type you have imported, it'll know. If you don't have it imported already, then it won't know it's there. But you have to have that server already in one view. And then here's where you toggle your different service back. If you have a different one, that's the old one. I gotta put the new one in. And I'm gonna say update components lower than baseline and firmware only. So now that we're done downloading, I believe I'll go back in here. Keep in mind this is fast forwarded, so you don't have to sit through the whole thing. And now we're going to switch to the bundle, the new one, new service pack. And we're going to make sure that that's the server I want, which it is. Let's go OK. And then server hardware, we're going to change it to your server that's already imported. Make sure to specify each one. <laughs> And the server has to be powered off. It'll say so right here. So we'll do that first and then we'll come back to this. And here's all the servers I am doing here. And I'll tell you what components are in each one of these service packs that need to be updated. I only had four updates and I'm sorry about all this stuff but I have to block out some proprietary info uh, firmware only and here's what we're updating to Robin 2 of each version there's only four here you may have different depending upon what you know you're upgrading from and to and what what hardware you have so you can just follow along with the update like I said, this takes me about 40, 45 minutes usually. It has taken longer. It has taken over an hour. Um, depends how many updates you got and where you're coming from and going to. Like if you come from a really old version, there might be a lot of updates. And you can follow along, say it's staging and then installing. You can also follow along in ILO and you can see what it's doing. And that's it. Hope this helps. Once it's done, you just put the server up because it'll leave it in a powered off state. And then at that point, you're good to go. Hope this helps.